Hello and welcome to Tago.io. In this video, we are going to show you how to build a simulator to send your own data in real time to a dashboard. In a few minutes, you will build a solution that gets data from a Google spreadsheet and display it at Tago. First, let's create an analysis. So go to Analysis, then add a new analysis. Go to the tab Examples and download the Google spreadsheet example. Now go to the section General Information. Type the name of the analysis. On Time Interval, choose Timer Disabled. On Run the Script From, choose Tago. The script language is Node. Click on Upload Script and choose the example that you downloaded earlier. Now save the analysis. We need a device and the device token to be able to send data to Tago. Go to Device and add a new one. Type the name of the device and save it. Now edit the device and go to the tab Tokens. Click on Reveal Token and then copy the token. Now back to the analysis. Edit the analysis that you created before. Go to the tab Environment Variables. On Key, type Device underscore Token and paste the token on Value and save it. Now go to your Google Drive and create a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet can contain any variable that you want to simulate. Tago will read each row one by one to give the idea of a live simulation. On the first row, type temperature and humidity. On the second row, let's add some values. For the analysis to be able to read the spreadsheet, you need to share it, so click the share and create a name and save. Click on Advanced, change the access. Now on Link Sharing, choose On, anyone with the link, and save. Now copy the link. Go back to the admin and add a new variable. On Key, type URL and on value, paste the link. Save the analysis. Go to the section console and click on run. Here on the console, we can see that the analysis ran successfully. Now let's create a dashboard to show the data from the spreadsheet. Go to dashboards and create a new one. Type the name and save. Add a widget and choose gauge. On type of gauge, choose solid. Choose the variables temperature and humidity and save. You can see that the gauges are showing the data from the first row on the spreadsheet. Now, let's run the analysis again. Go to Analysis, ed edit the analysis, and click on Run. Now the gauges show the values of the second row. And if we run it again, the gauges now show the third row. Feel free to add more variables in the spreadsheet and build more dashboards. Check out more examples in our documentation. Thank you for watching!